Okay, today we're going to talk about flowing uh, watercolor. I've got some watercolor and uh, acrylic mixed because I wanted the silver to be a little heavier body. I just want to start out <coughs> by saying this is kind of commercial watercolor paper. It's probably a Canson off of a tablet. Uh, and then I took these folded pieces of paper that I kind of tore up. I was doing some three by three squares for a different project. And I just sewed them after I punctured them with um, some leather uh, dye, uh, hole making dyes. And then I zigzagged them. And then I took the uh, piece so it kind of folded over and made kind of a perforated funnel. I also sewed over the watercolor paper, uh, made some little divots in it. So I've got a whole bunch of these little uh, photo um, beakers that I'm going to pour up here. I've kind of got a mark yellow, cobalt, Davies gray. I actually did uh, a hooker's green instead, a silver and a sumi. I actually am doing two sumi colors and uh, I'm not doing a yellow. So it's going to be hooker's green, a cobalt blue, um, two sumis, uh, and uh, a silver and the silver is I'm either using uh, uh, Daniel Smith or um, Windsor Newton or some uh, M uh, Graham, which I, I think are really superior watercolors. I'm using a little traditional um, Japanese Chinese ink, Japanese made Chinese ink. And I've got some very old Daniel Smith uh, German silver watercolor powder, but I didn't like the depth of it or the strength of it. So I added some <clears throat> iridescent silver from Golden uh, on their fluid acrylics. So I've done fluids before. I really haven't done much of the watercolor, usually acrylic. And as you can see down here, I kind of looked at what the green and the, and the blue <clears throat> and these are actually the silvers, and then there's actually two uh, strengths of sumi. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, you're the first one to see this. I think I'm just going to start with the green, start on this side, and uh, uh, see what happens. So we're just going to literally pour this above, and we'll see how it does. Can't see if my arm, oh. Okay, so that ran a little faster than I thought. Um, I'm going to do it right next to it as well so it hits the funnel. There you go, that's nice. And then I'm going to do some blue. Now, what I did here is I just pulled this over and taped the edges. So it's actually a folded piece of watercolor paper because I hate to see it go to waste, the color go to waste. And I'll open that up later and do something with it. I'm going to do some cobalt here. And I like these kind of paintings because they're just an abstraction of what what can really happen. <clears throat> I'm going to do, uh, this is the deeper um, Sumi. Whoa, that went out fast. And I think I've got a lighter Sumi here. And then I'm going to do a silver. And I might overlap some of these just to see how they look. Oh, that's nice. Look through the funnels. And then I like the way it came out on some of them. Not as much, but I'm going to just dump a little more in here. There you go. So that kind of comes out. And kind of cross-mix them a little through the paper funnels. Still not coming out as much as I'd like, but they're, they're making a nice uh, mixture going through all these so let's do some green over here right in here i'm trying there you go i'm trying to get enough so it goes through these holes as well i think some silver over here would be good yeah that's nice so that's kind of how i did the flow i'm going to stop it there i might uh, add some more later Maybe we'll do one little more sumi here, a light sumi. 
yeah that's that's good so i don't want to do too much more i might uh put a little uh brush strokes or lines and then i'll open this up at a possibly a later video so there you go john taylor from seattle on this beautiful late may day in the coronavirus pandemic see you later